welcome to the Audible, the quarterback analysis podcast. I'm Big Italy 42 here talking once again, breaking down some top quarterback plays courtesy of as Zach Scott Moxie. Top play here once again, no surprise, Tom Brady as he is just about every single week and rightfully so. Vegas team total of just 30.8. Uh, I say that because they were at 33 last week, but still a great spot here. Second in the in yards per game through the air for Tom Brady at 339. First in touchdown passes with 22. At least 22 fantasy points in all but one game. Even that one we had 19 in. Um, once again, highest team total on the board. And facing the Giants team that allowed seven touchdowns to Drew Brees a couple games ago. Second most passing yards per game at 308. Um, if you're paying up, it makes a lot of sense to go with Mr. Tom Brady here once again. Uh, right behind that, we got Andy Dalton at $8,100 on FanDuel, 65 on DraftKings, Bengals Vegas team total at 29 points. And uh, Andy Dalton, as mentioned here by Zach, he's been great this season. Average fourth most fantasy points per game, top 10 in touchdown passes and passing yards per game. Texas are only uh, actually giving up the eighth most passing yards per game, but 25.6 points per game. Top third in fantasy points per game to quarterbacks. Dalton's still way too cheap on DraftKings and makes for a great cash game play here. Once again, that Bengals offense in full force. Blake Bortles from the Jacksonville Jaguars here. As we're talking value cash game plays, um, Zach mentions that he's a big fan of Bortles if you're not, excuse me, if you're not paying up for Brady. 21.3 Vegas team total. Seems about right for the Jags. They've been right around that low 20s most of the season. And Bortles, volume passer. Um, 274 passing yards per game, two touchdown passes per game, at least 19 fantasy points in four or five, facing a Ravens team second most fantasy points per game to position. You know this right now, um, by now, hopefully, that the Ravens secondary has been awful this season. DraftKings price is 5,600, 78 on FanDuel. Blake Bortles makes for a nice play here. Derek Carr just continues to keep it going, 23.5 point Vegas team total. He comes in at 7,500 on FanDuel, 58 on DraftKings. Last three games averaging over 300 yards. Has 11 touchdown passes in that span. At least 23 fantasy points in all those games. And he looks great. I mean, does not look like a second-year quarterback. Uh, looks like Latavius Murray may end up sitting out this one again. Or, I'm sorry, not again, but after leaving last game. Um, so that means Derek Carr is going to go to the air even more here. It's not an ideal matchup against the Vikings. But Derek Carr has been phenomenal over the past couple weeks. He's been accurate. He's been throwing good deep balls. The short passes and throwing quite a bit as well. Michael Crabtree and Mari Cooper, one of the more formidable duos uh, as far as wide receivers go in the NFL. So, big fan of Derek Carr here once again. Next up, GPP plays Drew Brees, 8,600 on FanDuel, 74 on DraftKings. Vegas team total just short of 26 points. And Drew Brees has 10 touchdown passes and 78.68 FanDuel passes to points in his last two games. Obviously, seven of those touchdown passes came in the First game, set three in the second, though. But first in passing yards per game now, 345. Facing the Redskins team, what Vegas has this one projected as a really high, high total here. Um, Washington is not a bad defense. Ninth in passing yards allowed per game, but bottom half for fantasy points allowed per game. They're coming off a game with Tom Brady as the lowest output of the season, but they also gave up a big game on the ground to LeGarrette Blunt in that one. So um, Drew Brees here, a great GPP play. Probably a little more expensive for a cash game play than you'd like, though. Cam Newton next up. And uh, Zach's, Zach thinks that Cam Newton win the MVP if season ended right now. I'm not quite on that train yet, but Cam Newton has been very good. He's been making great plays week in and week out. 24-point Vegas team total here. Panthers have not lost a game. 1,820 yards, 14 scores, despite having essentially uh, a B squad of wide receivers. And his ability to run has really raised his floor, making him a great upside play. 42.88 rushing yards per game, five rushing touchdowns. Facing off against the Titans team, only allowing 218 passing yards a game. They also are allowing um, very few number of plays on defense. Uh, their run defense is terrible, but um, for Cam Newton in this matchup, a slower pace against a team that's actually been pretty decent defensively. So not an ideal scenario, which is what makes him a GPP play for you there. Value GPP plays Kirk Cousins against that Saints secondary, which is terrible. Most fantasy points allowed to quarterbacks and nine passing touchdowns over the past two weeks, 60, like mainly three last week. Um, Cousins has had his ups and he's had his downs as he has throughout his young career. 24.8 point Vegas team total, though, in this one. 6,500 on FanDuel, 52 on DraftKings. Um, he's got a decent amount of upside for this price. 
Jordan Reed, a guy that a lot of people will be pairing with him. And um, I'm on board as with uh, Kirk Cousins the GPPs this week. Next up, Landry Jones, Ben Roethlisberger injured once again. Um, he says he might be able to play this week. Steelers, as we saw before, Roethlisberger trying to get on the field as soon as possible. They uh, wouldn't rule him out, but they wouldn't say he had a chance. I think it's very unlikely that he plays, so that means Landry Jones, 6,200 on Fando, 53 on DraftKings. Vegas team total of about 23 points. Steelers with a bye the following week. Landry Jones um, likely to get the start here. And looked good when he came in for Roethlisberger, but was not very good in his one start. Just one touchdown pass, but the Browns' defense have been terrible. 27.4 points per game. Seventh most fantasy points to the quarterbacks. And Steelers may just run the ball a lot in this one. Not relying on him too much, but the way that Antonio Brown emerged last week as the play that we know he is, um, Landry Jones should be able to get the ball to him. Confidence riding high in that passing game. So that's a big, big-time upside play for cheap there with Landry Jones. That th- that'll wrap it up for Week 10 for us here. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of other great content at DailyFantasyCafe.com.